Hey guys, welcome back to the Linux Essential series for hackers. In this video, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to enumerate information in regards to your current disk usage and in information, you know, in regards to how much storage your system is consuming, how much you have left the various disks attached to your system, etc. Stuff like that. All right. So as I said in the previous videos in regards to enumerating, you know, information about your system, it's uh, very important to know uh, the state of your system and that, you know, could include yeah, the current RAM usage. Uh, what you, the temperature of your processes are, you know, so again, it's very important to know as a system administrator or someone who is going to be, you know, using Linux, uh, you know, more and more every day, uh, how to enumerate uh, information and useful information like your current disk usage and the various drives that you have, you know, installed on your system. So let's talk about disk usage first, which is quite important, right? Because when working with the terminal, you have no GUI, uh, you know, programs uh, that can actually, you know, visualize this for you. So it's very important that you understand how to do this, extremely important. So the tool we're going to be using is, is a tool called DU, right? And again, it's, it's fairly straightforward what that means. That means disk usage. Uh, so I can just say, what is, what is DU? And I can hit enter and as you can see it tells you this allows you to estimate file space usage right now du is a very simple tool to use and you can take a look at the man pages in regards to how how to use it um, so let's actually just run a simple command within this current directory and I'll show you what I mean so if I if I hit du uh, you can see that uh, this is um, there's something weird happening here, right? So it's, it's displaying a lot of files. And um, when I say that, it really is displaying, it's displaying all the sizes of all the files within this directory recursively. All right. Now you might be saying, well, what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that it's actually showing you the size of all the files within a current working directory. All right. That's essentially what it means. Now, what current directory am I working in? I'm working in my home directory. So we need to make this a little bit more human readable. And the way we do this is by typing du and then we specify some arguments. The first thing we want to do is we want to summarize all of these results into a uh, in, into a format that we can understand, right? So instead of displaying recursively all the files, just show us the top level directories and the total sizes of those directories, and then we can go recursively within those particular directories if we wanted to. All right. So the s command is going to summarize everything up, and then we want to use the h command, the human readable format within this current working directory. And I'm going to hit enter. And as you can see, right over here, it tells you, it gives you a beautiful list uh, of all the directories you have in this particular directory. And on the left hand side, you have the sizes in human readable format, which means they have uh, they have uh, they have, they have size, uh, they have un the various units in megabytes and in gigabytes. And, uh, you know, so far, the the only file that's crossed uh, the threshold of one gigabyte is my virtual box folder. So again, you can use a tool like grep to uh, if you're going through tons of files on a system, I'm just using simple examples here. So you know, I can say grep and you know, I can say one, uh, one gig, and we can hit enter. And again, that can be used to enumerate all of these, uh, all, all of this type of information, or I can just say G. Uh, G would be much better. And there you are. So again, that's how to use grep in conjunction with all of these commands. So that's how to use the disk usage tool. Now again, I can go on to my, um, let me just go, uh, or actually, let's, let's just go into the Linux file system itself and say sudo uh, dush and we'll run the same command. And again, we can hit enter. And again, that starts to enumerate the sizes of all of these directories. Now, mind you, it has to go through all of these directories and the subdirectories uh, directories recursively to get this size. So again, for some particular files, uh, you will not have the adequate permissions to actually access. So again, there you are. It gives you uh, all the information you're looking for here, and we can you know, we can grab it to. We're looking for the the big G for a gigabyte. So the home directory has quite a, a, a few files: the media directory, uh, the snap swap file, user var, etc., etc. Um, so let's take a look at one command. I'll just go back into my home directory and I'll say man du, and we'll hit enter. Um, uh, let's look for one um, one more command that uh, yes the C command which will produce a grand total which I wanted to explain so I can say du shc and I hit enter and again that gives you a total of um, it gives you a total of all of these files 
uh, it gives you a total of all of the files and directories uh, in this current working directory. All right, so that's pretty much how to use the disk usage tool uh, to analyze the current disk usage within a particular directory. Now let's talk about the DF tool. So I can type in what is DF and hit enter, and this is gonna report file system disk space usage. So we were talking about disk usage in a particular directory, right? But now we want to know our disk usage in relation to the total amount available, right? So we want to know how much we've consumed uh, in our current uh, disk where we have our home directory or just on all our drives, right? And to do this, we type in DF. So again, we can just open up the man pages. So DF, um, you can go through all the other arguments you want and um, we'll just quit and we'll say DF, for example. All right, so that displays a lot of information here that we we really don't need uh, we are pretty much looking for our our system disks uh, only and uh, we can sort of narrow this down first of all by typing in so we can say df h is going to be for human readable format so again we can say man df and we say grep uh, we're looking for h like so and uh, sorry let me just uh, we're looking for h here so again, H is for human readable, readable format. All right, so we can then say DF H and uh, we can pretty much hit enter. All right, and uh, what this does now is it's going to display all of uh, all of your drives for you here. And you then have the various, uh, so for example, uh, storage device C is the current uh, file, uh, the, the current drive that I have my system installed on. So it gives you, uh, it sorts it out into the file system size in a human readable format. So gigabyte, megabyte, etc. Uh, the amount used, the amount available, the usage percentage, and where it's mounted. So uh, you can see that dev sd uh, storage device c1 is mounted, is the actual Linux file system directory. I then have uh, various other external drives. So let's say I just wanted to display the storage devices, right? So I can you then utilize the grep tool. I can say, uh, I can say grep uh, sd and I hit enter and there we are. So it tells me, all right, so um, you have SD, SDC1 and SDD1. So SDC1 has a total space of 117 gigabytes. Um, and again, we can, what we can do here is uh, we, yep, yeah, that's perfectly fine. So you have the, um, you have the current usage percentage, which is 16%, uh, the mount point. And then for my external drive, you can see uh, this is the total amount available. Uh, the amount used, the amount remaining, and uh, the, the usage percentage and where it's mounted on, which is the media because it's an external drive. All right, so that is essentially how to use the DF tool. Now we can specify uh, additional options to, uh, to, to actually only display results that we're looking for in regards to, um, to actually file, file system format. So if we're looking for XT4 NTFS, what we can do is we can say, uh, we can say dfht, right? So t will specify the the file system for format. So again, we can say xt4, and we hit enter. And that's going to only, it's only going it's only going to display Linux file systems. And I'm going to hit enter, and you can see it tells us sdc1, and it gives us all the relevant information regarding the uh, the size used uh, used uh, data, the amount available, and the usage percentage, which is currently at 16%. So again, that is how to analyze your disks, uh, your disk usage on Linux, and uh, how to, you know, actually deduce how much uh, disk space you're using, how much is left, the usage amount, uh, where your various disks are mounted on, etc., etc. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover in this video, and I'll be seeing you in the next.